to himself to be and proclaimed himself to be. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a thing where um, he's totally ugly acting behind the scenes and has and has an ego and he's not doing nothing. And it's making everybody else upset because they're trying to win or what have you. Mm-hmm. Even if that's true, there's other ways to deal with that instead of messing up your chick. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to mess up your chick. Exactly. You don't mess up your coin for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And then it does show a character issue and something. Oh, dang, here's another thing too. This is another thing. We're gonna talk about the NFL. First of all, the Browns, you know, it's a franchise or whatever. The NFL is a brand. Everything that he's doing is a brand. He's a brand. The team he's on is a brand, and he's in the NFL a brand. You cannot, you know, say racial slurs on social media and affect and expect for it not to affect you. You're messing up your money. Okay, even if you're mad at Baker Mayfield for whatever reason, say he's an ugly person behind the scenes and all of this and just cocky for no reason. And you're like, oh, he's trash. I don't know why he's cocky behind the scene. Don't mess up your coin because of a fan coming and they're not even, the fan's not even on your level in a way of even making it to professional football. So a fan can say all their little stuff of what they would do, but they haven't even met it, made it in your shoes. So it shouldn't even, you know, make you feel some type of way. Now you can listen to your fans on some things when they're coming to you positively and stuff like that. Cause some people do have great input, but if somebody's trolling you and acting ugly towards you, you know what I mean? I don't know if the fan was acting ugly and he responded back or if he was just offended at what they were saying. <laughs> you know how some people are just sensitive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they just fire back. So I don't know the situation on that. But either or. Either block the person. You can block. There's a block button. Right? Mm-hmm. You know. Or you can delete their comment. Or you just not respond to their comment. Either or. Make sure you keep your coin in your pocket as well as um, create a great brand for yourself because you're talking about, you know, the quarterback's trash. Like I said, you could have went to another um, a new, another franchise, but you didn't mess that up because you're cut and you're known as a racial slur person. And then it's, it's just hilarious <laughs> that you did your little public relations apology thing. And then you went back to say, oh, snap, I'm good. Like, that's like, it's hilarious to me. Exactly. It's like a public relations going wrong. Exactly. Oh, so. my gosh. Like, the publicist is like, oh, I'm sorry. This is going to be a hard one. I'm going to try to fix it for you. But, guys. You too far gone, bro. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Exactly. But I still need my cut. Exactly. Guys, let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. We really want to know what you guys feel about this situation. Because we're both at a point where we're like, dude, you got to know your surroundings. You can't just say whatever you want to and not think that NFL Twitter is going to pay attention. Exactly. But you know what? Something else. You know, we were talking about in the previous episode, Oda Beckham and his watch. Um, he was having it on during the game and I think they were trying to find him or tell him to take it off, something like that. But today, well not today, we're gonna speak about NFL orders Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham to change cheat cleats at halftime. According to Sideline Report by Jay Feely of CBS, officials informed Beckham Jr. and Landry that their shoes did not meet NFL uniform regulations and would have to be changed at halftime if they wanted to return for the second half. To me, be honest, that's petty. To be honest, because it's like, bro, what is this really messing you up? That they are not wearing the shoes you think they should or, you know, different things of that nature. 
Yeah. So, guys, we love you. Thank you for joining us again, guys. We just know that at the end of the day, you guys support us, and we thank you so much and immensely. We care about you guys. This is too random. Yeah, but he didn't even finish the topic. It's so crazy how you're trying to close it out. We didn't even finish the topic, and he just talking about. We finished the topic. We didn't. I just read it out, and then you just went into the ending. And you told me to catch you outside last time about it. You know, let's go outside and catch me outside right now. Because I'm tired of this. You you ain't going to come for me, man. You ain't going to come because for me. Because you be going to sleep during the pie. I'm going to call you out to the people. Don't do that. Don't. Because you be, that's wrong. You that's be wrong. falling asleep that's during wrong. the podcast. That's not right. And we talk. And this right is the third who was topic. Over there doing other things. This is the third topic. We, we supposed to have two. You just brought up the last one. Exactly. You, you slept through the up. first two. You wanted to throw No, I didn't. I, first of all. I'm the one that skip, not skip, but pushed us into the new topic. Since we trying to throw people under the bus, pew pew pew, pew pew pew. pew. But you, anyway. you went a little, <laughs> you went a little bit. You still slept in between a little bit, and I had to get your knee. Anyway, anyway you guys, I'm about the to next topic. Let's bring up this last topic. Exactly. Let's finish it Let's out. Let's go because he be trying to finish the podcast quick. But I had to call him out, you guys. Whoa. So anyway, so what the whole cleats with OBJ and Jarvis Landry situation? Um, it just come to a point of NFL has become a really strict, really petty is what they're doing. Really strict, and you know people and <laughs> people are blaming. My, my thing is the why Browns does it matter. What shoes I wear? Like I understand Nike is the person, but. If I don't have a deal with Nike myself, why does it matter what shoes I'm wearing? Because that's just, you're doing too much at this point. Like, you, you're wanting to control too much in my life. You know, I understand that, you know, it's brands of brands, but this is the brand that I represent. But, you know, the NFL got to have their fingers in every single deal that goes on. Uh, there's just like the Oakley situation. First person I heard of having the Oakley deal, Patrick Mahomes. Now the NFL has a deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. NFL wants their foot in every deal that happens, just like the NCAA. NCAA wanted their hands in everything. Didn't want to pay the uh, the players for their likeness and things of that nature, but now. Ever since, you know, Arizona and California, or was it Arizona? May have just been California. Passed that uh, law now that they have to pay. Now it's like, oh my gosh. Um, You know, different things like that. Like what? Like it should happen? Yeah, like, it's like, oh my gosh. Now we have to... We have to get in on the brand that you're representing. If not, you can't do it. You know, we got to have our foot in everything. Yeah, I had that control there. With Mm -hmm. the NCAA, now they've been forced to. Now they're going to let the players get money off of their Which they should. Which they should have been doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I always thought. They were making a lot of money. people were getting you know, my jersey and it has my name on it, why shouldn't I get paid? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's how them uh those college coaches they get paid a grip of money. Oh yeah, some some have made over fifty thousand dollars. You know, and that's just in college. Imagine the NFL and fifty thousand dollars. You know what I mean? You said fifty thousand dollars. I mean fifty million. Yeah, million. I'm sorry. You know what I meant. Fifty million dollars and that's just for college. So imagine what, you know, an NFL coach what? that's really good is gonna get paid. Fifty million I thought they made like 
You'd be surprised how much they can make. Like I thought they made like five hundred thousand mm-hmm. to like five to ten million for college coaches. When I tell you, I've seen college coaches get bank. For real, they had, I've seen it to where these college coaches would get a lot of money. You seen it? I've seen it. Okay. It was all on ESPN. So yeah, I've seen it. Okay, cool, man. But what do you guys think on that situation? What 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 do you feel? Matter of fact, you. What do you feel the NFL should do? You think they're in the right, or do you think you know they're tripping? They they doing too much at this point. About what? The OBJ situation. You know them having to change their shoes in the middle of the second quarter. What do you feel? <laughs> I feel like, you know, the NFL is petty. First of all, how you look at the shoes like that? That I mean, I mean, it's a whole game going on and you focus on people's shoes. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a whole thing with when it comes to me and creativity. It's just a whole thing and I just don't you don't like when people are not able to be their self. Uh, yeah, it just bothers me. It's just like when they force kids to wear uniforms, even though there's like, oh, it helps kids that don't have as much money or whatever seem like they're like everyone else. No, it doesn't because some of these people buy higher price uniforms and you could tell the difference. And then the other babies still have those dingy uniforms because they don't have as much money. The proper thing to do is to have a thing where if you're going to do that um have the school to have an actual vendor that gives out the same uniforms and then give a scholarship for those kids um parents that don't have as much money and that is how you know you kind of make sure and things like that or like the young men that had washers and dryers i think it's a principal Watch the dryers in the school because some of the parents can afford um, for their kids to wash their clothes. And they have that there. They have the soap, you know, the soap, water. That's pretty cool. And the washers and dryers. So, for me, that's just a thing where, I mean, what should happen in schools. But I'm totally off topic. (laughs) But going back. (laughs) But going back. you doing like me. It was too random. So, you know, we go all around the world. So... Yeah, for me, it's just a creativity thing. I really don't understand. I mean, unless it's like a severe safety issue in which um, them having the cleats on will, you know, hurt someone or themselves. I mean, a, I understand what you're saying, but I mean, I, I just feel like sometimes people want to restrict you so much that you can't be yourself a little bit and you can't create your own brand. They want you to be their brand so much to kind of, you know, choke your individual individuality out. And then mm-hmm. you're just their brand and not your own brand. And I feel like, Oh, damn, he's one of those guys that just want to branch out and be who he is and stuff like that. But then I do understand rules and, regulations. regulations and things. But the thing is, if you didn't come at me before without it, don't do and things now. like that don't do it now then i heard they said uh there's other players that wear different type of cleats every every game and they still are on the field and they didn't have the same threat so you know hey if you're gonna do it all i say is consistency exactly. be consistent don't have people having their own cousin cleats and stuff on the field and stuff and it's not consistent if it has to be a certain brand or a certain measurement or whatever the case or you know certain material it can be custom but it has to be a certain material let it be known before they walk out in the locker room let the coaches know in the front office know so they know what shoes are suitable you know what i'm saying so we can just avoid all of that now deshaun watson credits the popeye's chicken sandwich with healing his eye. Mm. Just a week after Texas quarterback Deshaun Watson was kicked in the eye, he led Houston to a 26-3 to victory over the Jaguars. After the game, Watson said that his eye was great and that the key to recovery was eating a Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. 
Exactly. I'll tell you what the key was. The Popeye's spicy chicken sandwiches that I ate this week.